You know, humans are pretty lucky to have evolved quite late in the evolutionary timeline. If we arrived maybe just a few million years earlier, we might have not ended up being a dominant species that we are today. Heck, we'd probably be too scared to leave our caves, mainly because of these upcoming animals. Number one is pretty frightening, so stay tuned for that. Here are 10 scary extinct animals that actually existed. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. Pentacopterus. Many people just hate creepy crawlies, especially scorpions. It probably has something to do with their menacing looks, painful and sometimes even venomous stings, and a couple of pincers that look like they can sever fingers with no effort at all. It's a good thing we weren't around 450 million years ago. Because if today's scorpions creep you out, imagine what an 8-foot long scorpion's gonna do to your nerves. Pentacopterus was a species of sea scorpion that was discovered back in 2015. They are the oldest scorpion species ever discovered, with their fossils dated to be around 458 to 467 million years old. With the few fossils that we have, we can deduce that it wasn't the biggest scorpion ever, but at over 6 feet long, it's not really a pixie either. It was described as fierce and predatory, and was thought to occupy the top of the food chain in the waters where it called home, and it probably fed on any creature smaller than itself. Number 9. Hallucigenia. Nope, despite the name, this has nothing to do with hallucination-inducing pharmaceuticals. But given that this next item on our list is a worm with legs, you'll be forgiven if you think you're hallucinating. Hallucigenia is unlike nearly any living animal today, although it was likely the ancestor to modern-day arthropods. There were over 109 specimens of these strange aquatic creatures, and they ranged in size from 0.5 to 3 centimeters long. It had a round, worm-like body that was likely squishy to the touch. Like arthropods and worms, it was an invertebrate, so it didn't have a backbone. However, it did have hard, sharp spikes that stuck out of its back and likely kept potential predators away. It also had clawed, tentacle-like appendages, which functioned more or less like legs that helped it move around the ocean floor. It also had a weird head, which had a pair of simple eyes and, weirdly, what seemed to be a permanent grin on its face. Like the one you see on the face of someone who's up to no good. Or the Joker. And that kind of proves that point, actually. Number 8. Meganura. Yep, we're still keeping it in the terrifying insect category, and when it comes to Fright Factor, this one ranks up there with the scariest of them. It is generally considered that the maximum potential size of an insect is dictated by how much oxygen is available in the atmosphere. Today, 21% of the atmosphere is breathable oxygen, but back in the Carboniferous era, it was around 35%. And because of the abundance of oxygen, insects like Meganeura were able to grow up to epic sizes. Meganeura really is a beast, and is likely to have hunted and fed in much the same way as dragonflies do today. Number 7. Dunkleosteus. Long before enormous sharks like the Great White. Long before even the giant marine reptiles of the Age of Dinosaurs. In a world where animal life had only just begun to leave the seas, the biggest, meanest, scariest predator around was an armored sea monster aptly called Dunkleosteus. These fish had thick, bony plates covering their skulls, and with a full body length of up to 20 feet, the armored headgear of the largest Dunkleosteus fossils are positively nightmarish. Dunkleosteus did not have true teeth. Instead, the skull's bony plates extended into sharpened fangs in front of the mouth. These fangs scraped together, continuously sharpening each other as the fish opened and closed its jaws. The actual hunting and feeding style of Dunkleosteus is also a popular subject of interest. Number 6. Dinosuchus. The dino in Dinosuchus derives from the same root as the dino in Dinosaur, meaning fearsome or terrible. In this case, the description is perfect. Dinosuchus was one of the largest prehistoric crocodiles that ever lived, attaining lengths of up to 33 feet from head to tail and weighs in the neighborhood of 5 to 10 tons. And although it's significantly smaller than its predecessor, the Sarcosuchus, it was definitely no less frightening. In fact, it can be said that it duked it out with more ferocious opponents than its predecessor. There is actual fossil evidence that the Dinosuchus regularly fought and won against the mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex. What's worse, though, is like their modern descendants, prehistoric crocodiles were constantly growing, in the case of Dinosuchus at the rate of about one foot per year. 
So, it's difficult to know exactly how long the longest lived specimens were, or at one point in their life cycles they reached maximum size. Other than its enormous proportions, Dinosuchus was remarkably similar to modern crocodiles, an indication of how little the crocodilian line of evolution has changed over the past 100 million years. I guess if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Number 5. Phoboromus Patersoni Phoboromus Patersoni was a genus of rodents that lived in the ancient Orinoco River Delta around 8 million years ago. Now, just because these are rodents doesn't mean that they're exactly like modern day rodents, oh no. You're gonna be pretty hard pressed to see a sewer rat the size of a cat these days, and even the capybara, the world's largest living rodent, is relatively minuscule compared to Phoboromus Patersoni. Because you see, Phoboromus Patersoni is quite possibly the largest rodent ever to have walked the Earth. An almost complete skeleton was discovered in Yuramoco, Venezuela in 2000, and based on this, researchers have been able to reconstruct its size and probable lifestyle. It was 9.8 feet long, with a tail at 4.9 feet, and probably weighed between 550 and 1540 pounds. In other words, roughly the size of a bull. Like many other rodents, Phoboromus was an herbivore with high crown premolars and molars, teeth definitely not suited for a hunter. Number 4. The Mega Piranha The prefix Mega is usually reserved for only the biggest, and this prefix definitely applies to this next entry on our list. Not only was Mega Piranha at least 10 times as big as modern piranhas, but it wielded its dangerous jaws with an additional order of magnitude of force. At least according to a recently published study by an international research team. The largest variety of modern piranha, the black piranha, chows down on prey with a biting force of 70 to 75 pounds per square inch, or about 30 times its own body weight. By contrast, the mega piranha chomped with a force of up to 1,000 pounds per square inch, or about 50 times its own body weight. Mega piranha was an all-purpose predator of the Miocene epoch, chowing down not only on fish and any mammals or reptiles foolish enough to venture into its river habitat, but also large turtles, crustaceans, and other shelled creatures. Number 3. Forest Rosidae Have you ever been chased by a turkey? You haven't? Well, lucky you. Being chased by one as a kid, I can say that I don't have a lot of love for the bird. Not even for Thanksgiving. Go ahead, laugh it up. But did you know that once upon a time there existed 9 foot tall giant turkeys that are considered to be the top predators during their time? They are Forest Rosidae, or better known by their nickname, Terra Birds. They were about 25 species in this family of flightless birds, some as small as 3 feet, while others can grow to 9 feet tall. Thankfully, they are all extinct now, but during their heyday they ruled South America. After a meteor wiped out Velociraptor and Tyrannosaurus Rex, the terror bird family rose to occupy the niche of terrifying tough predator in South America, all the while going on a smorgasbord of plant-eating mammals, a supremacy that lasted almost 60 million years. And now it's time for today's best pick. And today's best pick just might be the reason why people spun legends about arguably the most well-known mythical animal today. Number 2. Elasmotherium Weighing up to 3.5 tons, Elasmotherium was the largest member of the family of rhinos that lived from the Pliocene to Pleistocene epochs. It lives on the Eurasian grasslands ranging from southwestern Russia and Ukraine to Kazakhstan and Siberia. It wasn't only bigger and badder than any of its contemporaries, it also had the largest horn, jutting out of its forehead at 13 feet long. This animal specialized in feeding on grass and underground parts of plants, coastal rivers, and lakes. One example is highly starchy rhizomes of sedges, cattail, and reed. But don't make the mistake of thinking that this massive beast is a gentle plant eater. Like modern rhinos, it has two characteristics which don't actually go together well. It has very poor eyesight and a bad temper. Charge first, ask questions later is definitely this animal's mantra. And also don't make the mistake of thinking that it's a lumbering giant, because despite its massive size and prominent shoulder hump, it's thought that the Siberian unicorn was actually adapted to running at speed. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. Epicyan 
Possibly the largest prehistoric dog that ever lived, Epicyan was a true canid, belonging to the same general family as wolves, hyenas, and modern dogs. Epicyan was approximately 5 feet long and weighed around 500 pounds. That made it about the size and weight of a lioness. Paleontologists assume that this animal hunted in packs like wolves, but they aren't exactly sure. It may have hunted in packs or it may have been a solitary scavenger, much like a modern day hyena. When you first look at Epicyan pictures, you might come to the conclusion that this animal was some kind of big cat. It possessed unusually powerful jaws and teeth, which made its head look more like that of a big cat than a dog or a wolf. That's about everything scientists know about this prehistoric canid. We don't even know what these guys ate. Which one of these bad boys would more likely be in your nightmares tonight? Let us know in the comment section down below. Want to watch more videos about amazing animals? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Laters!